welcome back to the touch designer tutorial so for today we are also going to do some painting exercise but we are not going to do it by using the mouse but it's automatically painted by referencing the video input from the webcam I first create the projects folder first So I just name it as painting image. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is to set up the three dimensional environment as a template for filling in the the, the each of the pixel of the painting. And in this particular example, I'm using like a line, a very thin line in three-dimensional space to represent each of the pixels of the image that we are going to paint. So we start with a line first from SOP. And with this line, I make it a little bit longer from negative one to one such that it's passing through the origin in the center of the line and then I use a transform shop to change the scale later that depending on how many of them will going to change the, the length of the line afterward and then that one will send to the geometry and then as usual for the 3D we do have the light and also the camera component and after that we render it in TOP and then send it to the output window Mm, at the same time, I would like to turn on the fill screen and also turn off the border as well. So, supposedly, we're going to have the line on the screen at this moment. And the other part we're going to do will be using the material. So, the material we're going to use is a very simple one. We use just a constant. And then we drag it here and choose material and we keep the color as white so the next step is we're going to instance this line according to a reference and that particular reference will be a rectangle and that rectangle we're going to use the grid to produce it and eventually we're going to open up the video camera the video device in and use the down sample or lower resolution image to fill up each of the instant with the corresponding color okay so for the instant of the grid we again choose sop and then we find the grid and we customize the size of the grid to the aspect ratio of the video camera this is 1.6 here and then 0 0.9 16 by 9 in the aspect ratio and in the number row i will use line 90 sorry and then for the column i use 160 corresponding to the the aspect ratio of 16 to 9 and with this one I add a no sort such that in case there are any changes I just can insert it around here okay so what we're going to do is we are going to put it into the instance of the geometry so we first turn on the instant and for this one we will try to change the translate operation of each of the line this each of the instant element 
so that one will go to the translate op and for translate x we use the first parameter that is position 0 and translate y will be position 1 and depending on whether you would like to use the translate z or not you can keep it 0 or you can also change it to the position 2 which is just the same at this moment because this is 0 okay and in the transform we can change the size of this one like to open O2 to have a look first and that one will give you the arrangement within the grid of all those lines and with the rendering it is something like this so we can move the camera a little bit closer to the objects that we have this thin lines so each of the instance so the next step we're going to do will be like we try to color each one of the line in order to paint my own portrait image as captured from the webcam so we add the video device in yes and then I flip it for the mirror image and the other way that we are going to do is as we have been using like 160 by 90 for the grid resolution and then for this one I also down sample this and we sample it in uh, not we sample it, to, to change the resolution to a lower one by using the resolution top and I choose custom resolution 160 and 90 and then for the display I can just choose the nearest pixel that you can see the pixelate image in the resolution top okay so one way with this one I can also put it in a now top and then use this one for the instance of the color data so the color op will be here so I drag this one around here and for the red one I choose red and the green one I choose green and then the last one will be blue and I just skip the alpha because this will always be one for this particular case so through the geometry we see our own image render as a very thin line which is the image around here so that's it we already finished the visualization but if you look into this one as a final output it seems to be a little bit simple and not very interesting so what we would like to do is trying to for example animate the lines such that you can have a little bit more fun with your painting to animate the line that there's a couple of things that we can work on with the first one we would like to do is we try to create a noise from the top and then again we change it to the custom resolution of our grid 160 by 90 so the objectives of using this one is to I try to sample the RGB information and then use it as a way to control the rotation of the line in the rendering so that is my, my objective I turn it into 
color or maybe change some of this seed information and uh, you can also alter a number of those scale information for a better visualization okay so that is the noise information and in the common i also choose the nearest pixel so we can also see the pixelate image around here so the next step is we would like to pick up the rgb information and convert maybe one or two of them into rotation information so the step to convert it into rgb information is we put it into a chop from top to and we are going to select the whole image rather than just one horizontal row so the cropped will be the full image and we also I'll put it into the single channel of the RGB and I also remove the alpha channel so this is the RGB information we have obtained from this noise top so the next step is we would like to just pick for example one of them to <coughs> have a look So like I select red and then we name it into like rotation in the Z axis. So this is the one example I would like to do. And the reason of rotating in the exact axis because this is the horizontal line. If you rotate it in X axis, there isn't any change. And rotation Y will, will position into three dimensional way that we can try it later. But rotating in the Z is a little bit more obvious. Okay, so the range of this number is between 0 and 1 so we need to do a mess to convert it into 360 degree and after that i put it in a now with this one and then eventually for the instancing rotation i put this now in the rotate ops and then choose the rotate Z with the RE set that we just created so that will be something like this in the perform mode so that look a little bit cool in a sense that it's something like simulating the brush stroke and the paint brush so the other thing that we can improve a little bit on this is we can animate the noise so one of the usual techniques to animate the noise is to change the translate information in particular the ez information so we can use quite a number of options so bit can be one of them but a lot of cases that we can use is the timeline so the timeline of uh, by default will give you the frame and we can also use for example the second the absolute second absolute frames as well as well so we choose the absolute second and disable the frame and then I add some mass to with reduce the number a little bit so I use um, multiplication of like 0.1 to start with and with this one and I turn on the viewer active and then send this one 
to the translate reset of the noise and then you will see the changing color of the noise pattern and as a result this particular uh, sequence of number that's also changed in the rotation reset for the instance so the result will be something like this one and if you consider it to be a little bit too fast that you can slow down this by giving it a smaller number 0.05 for example that will already perform the task that okay so that is the exercise that we're going to do that one will using the instancing and also align in order to create this kind of painting or painterly effect and you can also experiment by changing for example thickness and other rotating in the in the y dimension for example to have a little bit more 3d texture of your painting okay so that's it for today thank you bye